Hello, Pilot's working on the Blade 130S and today we're going to adjust the gain parameters on the 130. So first thing we want to do is turn our radio on, plug up our 130S. Put hold on. Hold now move both sticks down and to the right. Hit the bind button. All right, we see the swash do its little dance. We know we're in the game parameter settings. So what I'm trying to accomplish is make my 130 just a little more stable. So let's go to the menu here until we get to flight log here so you see here this h1 is the cyclic p gain so that's one of the adjustments i'm going to make i'm going to increase it trying to make it uh, a little more stable so to do that all i have to do is move my elevator up and i'm going to go to about 108. So next I'm going to go to the cyclic I gain, which is number two, and I'm also going to increase it again, adjusting this one to get the um, 130 to feel a little more solid. Move my aileron to the right, and I'm going to go to number three, which is a cyclic D gain, which um, I'm not going to adjust. This D gain, if you move it higher, it would improve the response rate, and I'm not looking to do that right now. I go to number four, which is the cyclic response. I'm going to leave that alone, and then I'm going to go to number five which is the tail rotor P gain. Again, I'm going to increase that to try to make my um, tail hold a little more solid. So I'm going to go up on the elevator to, let's say on five, and then I'm going to go to tail rotor I gain, which is number six, and I'm going to go up on this one here. To 105 and that's where I'm going to start testing again the reason I'm doing this is uh, I feel that for my flying style the 130 feels a little loose when I go to stop in a maneuver it it slides a little bit on me and I'm just wanting it to hold a little more steady and uh, both with the cyclic and with the tail so I'm going to try this out and see how it works and uh, you guys can mess around with it and uh, let me know what works for you okay go test her out oh one more thing before you get out to save the settings have to press your bailout bind button watch your swash is going to do its dance again And there we go. We're saved our changes and now we can go test.